Hey everyone, welcome back to Joystick News. Today, I'm diving into the world of Avatar Frontier of Pandora. Let's see if this game lives up to the hype of the Avatar films. In Frontier of Pandora, you'll be thrown into a rich alien world that's a feast for the eyes. This isn't just about pretty visual, the game sets a new standard for immersive exploration. It draws inspiration from titles like Far Cry, particularly in its open world design and first person perspective, but it goes further. Pandora is not just a backdrop, it's a character in its own right. The gameplay is tailored to emphasize exploration and interaction with this vibrant world, inviting players to truly feel part of the alien ecosystem. The narrative of Frontier of Pandora takes a parallel path to the movies, focusing on a young Navi journey. It's more than a simple tale of rediscovery, it's a deep dive into the complexity of identity and heritage. The environmental theme, a cornerstone of the Avatar franchise, are more pronounced here, making a strong statement about ecological conservation. The story also thoughtfully touch on issue like child separation and forced re-education among indigenous populations add a layer of debt and relevance to the navy lore. In Frontier of Pandora, exploration isn't just a feature, it's the essence of the game. You're not just walking through Pandora, you're actively engaging with its ecosystem. The game first person perspective amplifies this immersion allowing you to leap through dense jungles and explore mysterious caves. The environment is richly detailed, which can be both mesmerizing and occasionally overwhelming. As for combat, it's a mix of traditional weapons like bows and rifles, and there is room for stealth tactics. However, the game places a strong emphasis on the experience of navigating through Pandora landscapes rather than on groundbreaking combat mechanic. Crafting and gathering are more than just side activities in Frontier of Pandora. They're central to your progression. The game presents a vast array of materials to collect from various tree barks to exotic animal hides. This abundance offer a wide scope for crafting everything from armor to consumable. However, this variety can become overwhelming, especially as some items are conditional on time or weather. The game encourages deep engagement with this mechanic, which can sometimes interrupt the narrative flow, posing a challenge for players who prefer a more straightforward gameplay experience. Frontier of Pandora offers a complex yet rewarding journey. While some elements may feel overwhelming, the game excels in creating an immersive and visual stunning world. The addition of two-player online co-op is a significant highlight, allowing for shared exploration and adventure. It's a game that demands patience and willingness to delve deep into its mechanics. As a new chapter in the Avatar universe, it stands out with its commitment to an authentic and expensive experience despite some gameplay challenges. And there you have it, my deep dive into Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. It's a game that dazzles with its visual and ambitious world building, but requires some patience to fully appreciate. What are your thoughts on this addition to the Avatar franchise? Are you as captivated by Pandora world as I am? Share your opinion in the comments and remember to hit like and subscribe for more in-depth gaming reviews. Keep gaming and see you in the next one.